My microphone disconnected. Hello! Welcome, everybody, to Mouse Game. I'm running Aski and Daniel and Carlos and Silly Hoofprint. Happy Thursday. I forgot what day of the week it was because it's so unimportant to the to the whole of Mouse Game. I'm very excited. How is everybody? Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Yes, summon the creatures. Summon the rat. Get it, get him in here. Well, I mean, don't. I think the rats are evil. I actually don't really remember, but I assume the rats are evil. Because usually in a mouse, in like mouse literature, the genre we all know about, rats are generally considered to be pretty bad. Oh my god, Daniel, it's fine. Were you graduating or was someone else graduating? Because, like, either, either way, congratulations to whoever. Let me close this. Look! Look at this! One moment. I'll get you- I'll get you sound, I promise you. Look at this! Mega Magician, welcome! And congrats, Daniel! But I haven't seen the Nim. I haven't seen Nim in so long. I haven't experienced Nim. I need to experience Nim again. Carlos, this is the sad game where the brother dies. I will be starting the game over. We still have our save from the demo, but um, I feel like it's only fair to to start anew, to to re-experience what we've experienced for everyone else, um, you know, who's new here, and also because it's been a while, so I don't fucking remember anything. Of course, I want you to suffer again. Are you kidding? That isn't even a question. Daniel, this is the full game, it's out! It's out and we're here. In the sewers. As of today, day zero. Rodent game full, not clickbait. Come on, Verm, keep up. I'm doing my best, Lance, but your legs are twice the size of mine. Ah, uh, this won't do at all. Here's an idea. Why don't you take the lead for a bit? You think I'm ready? I have no doubt. According to Dad's letter, we just follow the arrows. They point the way to the god's food hoard. So just keep following the path. We should hit it in no time. All right, I can do this. Stay on my tail, bro. Well, one of them has, he has got a cape. He's fine. Also, is it loud? Is it quiet? The music is playing. I didn't adjust it from Hades, so we're unclear. Read. Mouse Warrior pro tip. Hold X to run, press C to open the menu. I'm playing with a controller, so I won't be doing those things. Let me lower the music a little bit. <laughs> Mega Magician, yeah, don't no, ask questions you don't want to hear the answer to. You don't know. How do I... Right. And then I open the menu with this. Great. Sava.
What a weird bridge. Looks like under river rat handiwork. It's crude, but it should hold. Under river rats? You think there are any around right now? It's possible. We didn't bring our weapons just for show. Are you scared? Nuh-uh. I'm not scared of anything, just like Blade Master Leo. <laughs> well then, Blade Master, lead the way. Oh no! The creatures! Wait. Let me up. Let me up here. Let me up. I want the chest. Like, okay, it's right here. You found a peanut! Nutritious. You let's check it out. Someone stashed a peanut. Nice find. Maybe you should hold on to it in case you feel weak later. Don't get too full. There will be plenty more food where we're heading. I can almost smell it. Most warrior pro tip. Items can be equipped from the equip menu. Once a food item has been equipped, it can be used once per battle. So, think about that. Oh no, it's the boys! Not another step, you two. Oh no, they have my name. I don't like it. I don't like it when things have my name. It makes me really uncomfortable. Or else you'll face the rat, the face the combined rat, the Brian. Hey, art boy, we got company. Get with the program. Stilton. Not another step, you two, or else you'll have to. We've done that part already. Rest assured, sirs, we will make no trouble. My brother and I are just passing through. Ain't that easy. This is a troll road, you see. Don't you mean a toll road? A little bit of both, to be perfectly honest with you. It's ten seeds each to pass. Pay up. No way. We're not paying you flea-bitten losers. Diddly squat. Now, now, Verm, let's show some decorum. Sirs, I'm afraid my brother and I have no seeds on our persons. Perhaps you'll be so kind as to let us through anyway. No seeds, huh? You smell that, Stilton? I think I do, Bray. It's the smell of a liar. I don't know why the rats are from Jersey. Don't ask me questions. Don't ask me questions about anything. They just have voices that come out of my mouth, and then we go from there. Alex, welcome. Let's gut these two and scrounge the seeds from their corpses. And also, I think that's the voice I did in the demo, so I had to do it again. Remember your training, firm. Attack them until they fall down? Exactly. Me. Can I get a description? Oh, I have... I don't know. Okay, kill! What am I if not committed to the bit? Can you do a mega shot again? You can. Very welcome! We're mouse! Chief Sabo will have your heads for this. Yeah, Sabo the Slayer will chop you into mouse meat. Okay, bye. Sabo the Slayer? Maybe the tale is true. What tale? Word in the tunnels is that a water vole fell into the Under River four seasons ago. He grew fat on the water waste. So fat that the Under River rats started worshipping him as a chieftain. Some say he's as big as a horse and that he swings around god weapons like they're nothing. That can't be true. No rodent can grow that big, right? Who can say? I always thought he was a myth, just like ghosts and must wolves. Right, just ghosts and must wolves. Let's go find out. What's a must wolf? Mouse wolf? Becca, welcome! Everybody, welcome. We've really gathered around for mouse game, and I love that. Thank God! 
Thank God even the mice know. Oh, the perspective. Look, Vermin's a shrine to your hero. Whoa, Blade Master Leo! What's a statue doing down here? Perhaps the Under River Scoundrels built it. Even they know to respect the powers of the crown. No way, they must have looted it. Heh, <laughs> guess that's more likely. In any case, we should say a quick prayer for protection. Most warrior pro tip! To save your game, say a prayer to statues. Smart warriors, pray regularly. I would love to. It's a copper statue of a field mouse wielding a needle-like rapier. The plaque reads, in honor of Blade Master Leo, slayer of Iron Fang the Volps, saver of Soul Hill Village. I never know how to say that. Is it Volpes? Volpes? Volp... Volp... Vyai? And hear it all. Blade Master Leo sounds proud. Save your game? I would love to. Here's the demo. Volpes? Look at these guys. Spoilers! I know it's Latin for fox, but that's as far as I got. There's bonfires. This is like Dark Souls. So... So keep that in mind. Little tea lights for the guys. Oh, the evil mouse. The fuck? Boy, chief, they're here. Two mice? Rats, I could understand, but you're telling me you had your asses kicked by two widow mice? I'm not doing accents. We've established this. Don't underestimate them, chief. The bigger one's a scary good shot with the bow. And that little one's got some fancy sword work going on. Pathetic, the both of you. I'll deal with these runts myself. Chief Sava, I presume? It's a pleasure to meet you in person. What a letdown. You said he was as big as a horse, Lance. Vern, mind your manners. Ha! Quite a smart tongue you got there, little one. I bet it won't be so smart when I cut it from your mouth. It's fine. So it's true. You do possess a god weapon. I say hello to the Titan Reaper. This butte can cut through all creatures great and small. Mice and rats, fish and felidaes, even brought down a Nightwing one time. Lance, what do we do? Keep your nerve, Verm. The Vol talks big and carries an impressive weapon. But I wonder, can he even swing something so unwieldy? Can I eck? I'm gonna carve you up like butter! He's fine. Did we heal? We healed. We're fine. Ow. It's fine. Big hit. Small hit. You have no idea what I'm capable. Come at me, you flea-bitten, yellow-bellied losers! I'm gonna take the bait firm. Fools, you dropped your guard. Ow. Three damage? No! I can't believe it. You can't do a mega shot. Just defend, and then... Okay, and you went after him. Okay. You defend. And stop. Hit me, see what happens. No. You're no fun. He died! I can handle 2.9 damage, but 3? Oh, he's covered in arrows. Oh, he's fi Oh, he's bleeding! Oh! Ugh. Sava's down? Let's get out of here! Get back here, you damn disloyal gutter rats! You've lost a lot of blood, Chief. Make your peace with the world. Oh, I've long made my peace. 
Very well, then this is where we part ways. Come along, Verm. Hey, you're going up to heaven, aren't you? Heaven? The gods' food hoard just above here. We are. And from one foul vermin to another, don't bother. That place used to be paradise, but now the yellow god roams the hall. All that awaits you is death. Farewell, chief. May your soul pass to the next world unhindered. Lance, what's a yellow god? That's a new one to me, but don't let it bug you, Verm. In all my travels, I've never seen or heard of any deadly yellow god. It's the crazed mutterings of a dying rodent. Just ghosts and musk wolves. Right, just ghosts and musk wolves. Let's keep moving. We're almost at the horde. Mega Magician, this game- No, this game is fucked up. If anybody's in chat and they're, they're new here and they don't understand- We played the demo. This game's fucked up. And we're about to see something even more fucked up. So, like, <laughs> it's not, it's not good. Vern, what are you doing? Look at this thing, it's amazing. It's so big. It is quite a weapon. I'm taking it with me. Forget it, Verm. getting food's a much higher priority than collecting some fancy god relic. Yeah, I guess you're right. But do you think a mouse could ever use a weapon like this? Maybe the strongest mouse in the world or the craziest. Come on, we have a mission. Most warrior pro tip! Feeling stronger? You might have just leveled up. When a rodent levels up, they gain one star. A skill star. Skill stars can be spent in the skills menu. Go take a look. I would love to. Oh, I have to pick this one. Is him big. Hi, bud. You're so strong. Let's, um, increase your attack. Yay. I'm so happy for you. No treasure map! You added your trinkets! What the fuck? Read it! Go! This is it. Brace yourself, Firm. <laughs> established established 1962 whoa beautiful isn't it fruit grain meat items i can't even describe all neatly wrapped in ours for the taking but we mustn't dawdle. Dad's letter says that the horde is overrun with hungry gods at dawn. Oh boy, oh boy, what do we start with? Corn, let's find some corn. And bananas? And bread? And is that chocolate that I smell? Calm down, Verm. It's seeds we want. Seeds? How boring. Boring, yes, but they're valuable and imperishable. Lead the way. I think they're sort of the end of this corridor. The uwu box is in the back, I forgot. Woo woo. Woo 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 woo. Ziggy's tomatoes. Enchilada set, old Toby. Verm, wait! What? I think his name is short for Vermin, so. It's very poignant for him. It's like all the characters in Teenage Exocolonists that are named like Depression. I've seen these before. They're sinister contraptions. One wrong step, and bam, the bark comes down and snaps your neck in two. Dad called them thunder snares. Are you serious? They look so harmless. Don't even touch them. Let's tread lightly. Green gnome corn. Lance, who made the thunder snare things? Gods? Indeed, and they were probably let out as a warning left out. A warning? For us? We are trespassing on holy ground, after all. Are you scared? Nah! -uh. 
I'm not scared of some stupid god. You don't have to put on a brave front. I'm scared too. But we have each other's backs. That's what family's for, right? Yep, we stick together. I think I can almost smell the seeds. And lead the way. Ooh woo. This is what we want. There are enough seeds in one packet to feed the village for a month. Help me drag it down. The bag comes down with a gentle tug. It's huge! How are we going to get it packed past the Thunder Snares? We'll solve that problem when we get there. For now, just help me drag it towards the Under River. I'll pull, you go on the other side and push. Got it. Are you ready? Let's do this. That's the spirit. Alright, when I give the signal, give the packet a big shove to the left. Do you smell something? You and your nose, try to focus, Verm. On my mark. It smells sweet. Not good sweet, though. I'm getting a whiff, too. It's sickly. What do we do? We stick to the mission. On my mark. Lance, I feel dizzy. Oh dear, can you keep going? I think so, but the smell's really strong. I think it's coming from... Is, is that behind the bag now? It's fine. It's fine. Did it see us? We need to get out of here now. What about the seeds? Forget the seeds, run! Yeah. Ah! Verm, oh no! Lance, it hurts. Hold on, don't move. All right, stay calm. It's just your tail, thank the fates. We can get you out of this. Right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lift the bar and you're gonna squeeze out. Squeeze out? I know you can do it. When I give the signal, just push as hard as you can. On my mark. Are you pulling? Yes! Let's try again. All your might now. This isn't working. We're running out of time. I'll stall the god. You find a way to get yourself free. Lance, no! Lance! Don't go, I'm scared. Over here, you monster! I hate this part of the game. Damn it all. Mega shot, obviously. Hey, you, over here, look at me! I said, look at me, come on! I, I got its attention.
I've got to escape. Lance. Lance needs my help. Feels good. Feels like it feels good. Feels good, everybody. We're feeling really good about this one, you know? Would you like to save your game? Alright, thanks for the sips, everybody. Gonna take them all now. Um, while we think about that and how that's the video game. This is the video this is a video game and we're playing it, and that's the video game. So <laughs> Mega Magician, no! Don't put it on the scale, no! Verm learned rage. <laughs> Verm learned... Verm learned despair. Verm... Verm learned to kill. You should not have come here, mouse. I'm passing through to Cranbale. Let me be and I will make no trouble. Oh, you found trouble, friend. I am the predator and you are the prey. You run and I chase. That is the way of nature. Who said anything about running? What's this? A mouse wielding a god weapon. Now I've seen it all. Very well, show me your strength. Amuse me. A mouse me. You're no predator, you're nothing but an overfed fuzzball. Bold words for a morning snack. Kill. No, kill. Impressive, but it takes more than that to hurt a tiger. Meanwhile. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, is that a mouse? A mouse knight fighting tiger? I can't give her this voice. Oh god. This sword's as heavy as anything. How did the mouse knight even swing it? Because he's traumatized. Ow. Oh grand, you're not dead. Stay on your feet now. Are you hurt? Don't touch that. I'm fine. Oh, he's the real deal. Pardon? I saw you going pot a claw against Tiger. Blow for blow. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was amazing. Well, until he sent you flying, that is. I had to drag you here before he gobbled you up. It was a close call. You dragged me here?
Where is here, exactly? Oh, right, hold on. Harry, I would love the stoats. Trust me. I'm thinking about the stoats. Anything with little creatures? Count me in. This is Cranbale, the Sanctuary of Knowledge. It is. Welcome, welcome. I'm Siobhan, daughter of Lady Gilda. She's the head of the village. You should come meet her. Mammy doesn't normally like visitors, but you're something special. Fine, fine. I have a question for her anyway. Lead the way. First, I have to talk to all the little creatures. That old tiger's a right piece of work. Can't be doing anything when he's on the prowl. Come again. Welcome, welcome. Ah, an outsider. Welcome to Tulia's. Take a gander at what's in stock. What will it be? I need a sword capable of killing titans and gods. I see. Double-edged solid steel, is it? Sure, but I'll settle for iron. Fella? Look around yourself. This shop sells bits and bobs for the humble people of Cranbale. Cook and wear, mining equipment, linens and such. This isn't a royal armory, ye jit! Ye ye jit! Well, do you have anything I can use? I can do your Paris high-quality mole-made boots. Good for hiking or mining, and only five seats. That's a fair price now, isn't it? What do you say? I like boots. Sounds good, I'll take them. Grand. You received a pair of mole boots. This village isn't enough adventure. But I want to put the boots on. It's a tin statue of a mole dressed in humble robes. The plaque reads, A rodent's life is short. A written story is eternal. Loremaster Tobin, founder of Cranbale Library. Loremaster Tobin studies quietly. Save your game? I would love to. Your game's been saved. Thank you. The Crown's happy to take our seed for taxes, but where's their support when we need it, eh? It's true. Ah. I can't play. My mom says it's not safe out. I mean, I'm sure you can leave your room. I found a roll of bandages. I'm sure they won't need it. I'm sure the, the, I'm sure the child won't need it for anything. Dear Ruth, I hope all's well at the Nook. I wanted to pay a visit for the young king's coronation, but alas, Cranbale needs its librarian. Can I help you with something? Do you happen to have any books on the Yellow God? Can't say I've heard of such a thing. But in any case, we don't specialize in god studies here. Our collection's mostly historical and religious texts. Books on the old way, documents on the legacy of the Shrew Empire, that sort of thing. That's no good to me. Mm -hmm. You see a book titled The Rights of Masters by Loremaster Sylvia. As personal bodyguards to lords, ladies, kings, and queens, blade masters are required to be loyal, chivalrous, and of course, exceptional in combat. In contrast, a loremaster serves their liege by offering wisdom gained from two whole seasons of study at a licensed university. Larger cities often employ a variety of other masters to serve as advisors. Plaque masters oversee the health of a colony. Plague masters. Plague masters. Seed masters manage the city's treasury. Build masters specialize in urban planning. Of course, all this fine counsel is irrelevant if a liege refuses to listen, as is often the case. It's hefty. I'll read it. To follow the path of the old way, thou must abide by three laws. Thou shalt not harm a god, Thou shall avoid the god's gaze, thou shall not toy with a god's tools. Obey these laws, and rodent and god may live peacefully, side by side, as they have done for thousands of years. Disobey these laws, and the gods will punish us with fire and suffering. Okay. You see a book titled The Pact of Five, by Loremaster Tobin. Following the massacre on the Eastern Mire, Emperor Marcus wrote The Pact of Five. This legal document granted Rodentian citizenship to five key species, rats, moles, mice, shrews, and squirrels. Carnivores were explicitly excluded. Even now, long after the fall of the Shrew Empire and the rise of the rat monarchy, <laughs> the pact is held as sacrosanct, sacrosanct, forming the basis of modern Rodentian law. The rat monarchy! Very powerful! Wait, not, not yet! This one, I'm facing- oh, I cannot face the shelf, okay. Wholesome mouse recipes. 
Sweet seed biscuit serves four or just one really hungry mouse. Ingredients, one cup, one acorn cup of flour, one paw of mashed banana, one ground seed, a sprinkle of cinnamon. Mix the ingredients, spread over a greased baking coin, cook over candle flame for three minutes or until firm, eat warm or cool. Very powerful. A young viper found himself stranded on the bank of a great river. After slithering for a while, she encountered a raven. I would be most grateful, said the viper, if you would fly me across the river. The raven squinted at the fanged worm before him. You're not going to bite me, are you? I wouldn't dream of such a thing, the viper replied. Her forked tongue flicked back and forth. Against his better judgment, the raven agreed. He picked up the viper in his talons, spread his wings, and flew skyward. Soon enough, the two landed on the other side of the river, safe and unharmed. The viper bowed in thanks. Hold up, said the raven. Why didn't you bite me? You had every opportunity. Isn't biting in your nature? The viper smiled. In all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. Very powerful. Try to read one with the pages crumble beneath your fingers. These books have been written in illuminated mole script. They're beautiful, but you cannot understand the writing. I'm not... What if there was one hentai book in there? You know? What then? What? You look like a sturdy lad. You're a warrior, are you not? I am. I knew it. You have those warrior eyes. I was a fighter in my youth, too, I'll have you know. A member of Merida's Thimble Guard and all. I'm sure you were. Ha! Ah! Don't give me a lip, lad. I may be past my prime, but I've had more fights than you've had dinners. I've got years of battle-tested wisdom to offer. Then tell. Go on, then. What's the key? Weaknesses. Everyone has a weakness. If you use the right type of attack, you can exploit it. The right type of attack? You really are young. Let's see how can I put this. There are four kinds. You've got your slashing attacks, the swords and such. Then yours your bashing attacks, hammers and blunt instruments. Spears and pikes give you piercing attacks, and the fourth kind is... Is, uh... Special attacks like fire or water or whatever. You're making this up as you go, aren't you? Shut your bake, the system's famous. Everyone has a weakness, find and exploit it. What about cats? What's the weakness of a felidae? You're talking about tiger? Wish I knew. I've seen more warriors slash bash and stab that kitty, but its fur's just too damn thick. No, if someone wanted to take that monster down, they would have to do something truly special. Can I have some soup? It smells like worm and nettle stew. Hearty mole cuisine. The mouse sword. The blade's dull, but the flirt is sink. Points on the pummel. Wow, that... You know? I can read. Miss Molly's Book of Many Maladies. When cut, a rodent bleeds. Small cuts will heal on their own, but large cuts may cause severe blood loss over time. Treat heavy bleeding with bandages as soon as possible. Setting tends to cure itself time when the victim winds up the body. A rodent who's enraged will attack. A protected individual will eventually calm down. Sessions with a therapist may alleviate future outbursts. Yeah. Drink an espresso if someone is drunk. Okay. Hi, Siobhan. This is the council room. Are you to go in? I am. Take, take me inside. Siobhan, shouldn't you be studying? Who's this outsider? Oh yes, introductions. That's Loremaster Morvan on the left. Blademaster Nemain, the hedge knight, on the right. And Mammy, I mean Lady Gilda of Cranbale, in the middle. Mammy, this is... I didn't get your name. Verm. Right, Sir Verm. Sir? I'm not a knight. Really? Huh. Anyway, Mommy, I saw this guy fighting Tiger. He was swinging around a god weapon like nobody's business. That stupid cat had no idea what he was dealing with. I think this guy might actually be able to... Calm yourself, young lady. So sorry, Mommy. Mouse, you fought the Felidae with a god weapon. What can I say? Rodent weapons are so brittle. Such arrogance. To fight a god's pet with a god's weapon. This is sacrilege. Sacrilege of the worst kind. In accordance with the laws of the old way, a punishment is in order, my lady. Want me to put him in the stockade? Try it, Pinecone, see what happens. Everyone quiet! This mouse is a visitor. He's not bound by our local customs. We won't punish you, mouse, but we won't help you either. Do whatever it is you came to do and then take your leave. Fine, I didn't plan on sticking around anyway. But before I go, I need some information. I'm looking for the one known as the Yellow God. The Yellow God? I'm afraid we don't know any gods on a first-name basis around here, except for Cormac, I suppose. Have you heard of this yellow god, Loremaster Morvan? 
Afraid not, my lady. Perhaps the motion had demurred. One million mice and rats live there. Nobles, merchants, academics. I'm sure one of them can be of assistance. Baldur's Gate, I understand. That was going to be my next destination anyway. Very well, take your leave, mouse. Master Verm, wait! Siobhan, may I have a word? Mingling with blaspheming vagabonds is most unbecoming of a young lady. Stop calling me young lady, you know I hate it. Young lady, you are nobility. Know your place and return to your studies. Studies? I mean, that fella is killing us off one by one and you weren't doing anything to stop it. Not another word. What would your father have said if he saw you mingling with a vagabond? Well, Dad's not here, is he? Siobhan! That rock-headed child. She thinks herself a warrior. Her father's daughter, all right. Hold your tongue, Blade Master. Yes, my lady. Sorry, my lady. Let me guess. Your mom told you off for hanging around with strangers. Verm's so cool now. Look at him. It's been like two months. And he's like, <laughs> I've been hardened by the... By life and trauma. And oh, look at her eyes. Oh, she's so sad. Oh, no. Wait, are you crying? No. I'm not good with this kind of thing. Mommy's so damn stuck up. Ever since Dad died, she's been obsessed with following the old way to the letter. No god tools, no god interference at all. But what good's that doing us? How does cowering in a burrow help anyone with tigers on the prowl? I get it. Most rodents would rather hide away than face real issues head on. But you seem like a smart kid. I'm sure you'll make it through this. Wait. Before you go, can I show you something? It'll only take a minute. One minute? Yeah, just something in the library. Alright, lead the way. And it takes place in, um... In England, because there's a... When it shows the cityscape, you see the, like, one of the... One of the buildings in London, I think. I'm pretty sure. This is not the right door. A couple- that's the thing, a couple weeks to- to a mouse? That's crazy. That's so much time. Are you behaving yourself, Siobhan? I am anti-inogen, of course. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't you be studying? Ah, I should, but I was just gonna show this visitor the illuminated manuscripts in the back. Mm-hmm. Stay out of trouble, young lady. Your mother worries about you. I know. Illuminated manuscripts? Just follow me. I'm not interested in some old books. Never mind the books, I've got something better. But you can't tell anyone about this, alright? Especially not Mammy. Sure, whatever. Hey, I'm serious, promise me. Alright, alright, I promise. A tunnel? I dug it myself, come on. Game Dude! A treasure trove, huh? Yep, God Tools. I've been secretly collecting and studying for a whole season now. You see this? It's a god's timekeeper. I can't read the runes yet, but I'm getting there. This machine's a fancy god's toy, I think. I watched a young one play with it for hours. It turns on, but the screen's all banjack, banjaxed, banjaxed? Unclear. So I reckon it's missing a part. This is all fascinating, truly. But if you brought me down just to show me your trinket collection. Wait, wait, you really like the next one. Do you know what this is? I've seen them around. I know they're a common god tool. Even better, a god weapon like yours. I've got it working, even spruced it up to pack a proper punch. But it's in need of a field test. I thought I could use it on Tiger. Give him what for? Maybe save the village. But I don't think I can. Not because I'm scared. I mean, I am scared, of course, but I get it. You do? You want to take that fella day down. But you know attacking Tiger yourself would be suicide. The other moles in this village just sit on their tails and rant about the old way. They don't have tails. Do you want me to leave my, lend my sword? Right, pretty much. Could you? Sorry to disappoint. I don't sell. I don't do sell sword work. Sell sword work. I wouldn't pay you if I wanted to. The village is fat out broke. I was hoping you would do it. You know, because you're a chivalrous knight. Like I said, I'm not a knight. I didn't come here to do charity work. So go rally the thimble guard or something. I'm out. 
Ah! I'm not running away. S sir? Firm? Are you okay? You're really pitiful, you know that? <laughs> My god, Firm! Yeah, I know. Trauma Blast! Oh, Trauma Blast. When you're just- when you're just walking around and it hits, I'll help you. Really? Yeah. We'll go kill that fella day. You can reap the glory or restore your village honor or whatever. Make sure to follow my orders. Yes, Sir Verm, to the letter. I'll go wait by the lift. Thank you so much, Sir Verm. Javon's joined the party! Well, at least if it all goes wrong, she'll make for a good distraction. Hey, Verm? I know that you're hardened from a month at war, but like, good lord, man. I need to sip. This is gonna- my voice is gonna be gone when this is over. It's gonna be over. Silly Hoofprint, thank you for the sip! Oh, I was like, why are we standing here? Because I have to move. I want to talk to the gnome! What is this thing? It's creepy looking, even by statue standards. It's Cormac, the village's watchful protector! <laughs> oh, not doing a very good job, is he? No, I guess he's not. Cormac the watchful stares blankly. Save your game? Of course, with Cormac? Absolutely! Good job, bud. I'm so proud. The warrior mouse returns, and with a mole this time. Don't tell me the little kitty is scared of being outnumbered. Scared? All I see before me are an entree and a main course. Go ahead, mouse and mole, use your god weapons. They won't save you. I sure hope the owners of this home... Like... I... What would you do if you saw this occurring, you know? I know that we always say that, but what would you do? Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve. I'm done holding my nerve. I'm gonna unleash fire and fury. Light him up, Siobhan. I'm on it. Kill. <laughs> Kill. Kill mode. Let's save it up. Kill. What if it did say suffer? Like, your cat is on fire! Rome's rage subsided. He's bleeding! No! Defend. Don't bleed. Just be mad. Oops. Fine. The bleeding stopped. We're okay. Don't kill Verm. Don't kill him. Verm died. Verm's dead. She did it, but at what cost? She did it, but at unimaginable cost. Verm learned cleave! We did it! We actually did it! But we didn't land a killing blow. Doesn't matter. That kitten won't be bothering the village anytime soon. Come on, let's give Mammy the good news. Alrighty. Everything's really good. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, Siobhan. Um... You can see enemy HP. Increase attack. An overclock charge? What the fuck is that? Do this, I guess. 
The fuck is an overclock charge? Are we gaming? I'm saving again with my good boy, who I love very much. Can I go in the grass? No. I know I tried that last time and it didn't work, but still, very upsetting. It's game of the year, is the thing. 10 out of 10. It's unbelievable. It's the best video game ever made, and we're winning. Why are you still here, Vagabond? I thought I made myself clear. Mammy, you'll never guess what. Sir Vermin and I fought off Tiger. We actually did it. You... you slayed the Felidae. Well, we didn't quite slay it, but we certainly sent him running. That mangy monster will be licking his wounds for seasons. My word, Siobhan. I knew you were no dainty lady, but this is something else. Do you have anything to say, Mammy? I do. You disappoint me, Siobhan. I disappoint you. I've freed us from Tiger's tyranny. You short-sighted fool of a daughter. What will happen if the gods see us as a threat? Blades and poison. Fire and water. They would rain hell on us, and it would be the end of Cranbale. Mammy. Get out. Fine. Come on, Verm. I'll see you to the entrance. No, Siobhan. Leave. Leave? You want to be a warrior so much like your father was? You want to tinker with god tools and fight titans? Well, fine. You've got your wish. I'm exiling you from Cranbale Village. Mammy? Go on. Leave. Don't come back. Verm, wasn't it? You've caused enough damage here, I think. Whatever. You know, I came here because I heard Cranbale was the gathering place of the smartest minds in Rodentia, but all I found are stubborn idiots. Do you want to follow the old way, or do you want to survive? The old way is survival. The old way's dead. Javon gets that. Why can't you? Get out! Was I too harsh on Siobhan, Lore Master? A harsh lesson is sometimes needed, my lady. But perhaps if it would ease my lady's worries, I could send a butterfly? A butterfly? To the king, a formal, formal request to overwatch the girl should she enter Murida. Very well. No, you know when your daughter wants to fight, and instead of being like, then go fight, you say, get the fuck out of my sight and never return. Oh, there you are. What, what am I supposed to do now? Anything you want. Can I come with you? Anything but that. What a job to do. They say that two people shorten the road. Don't follow me. I said don't follow me. You're a liability. Was I a liability against Tiger? You were okay. Just okay. But you're going to murder, right? I can help you get there. I don't need a chaperone. Sir Verm, I know I'm not the greatest fighter, and I don't know what this yellow god is you're after, but I want to learn and I want to help. What do you say? Fine. <laughs> Verm, she literally, she literally finished the fight and you died. You bled out on the kitchen floor, um, and she had to do the final blow. We'll go to Murda together. After that, who knows? Thank you, Sir Verm, I won't let you down. Yay. I want to get up there. What the fuck? What the fuck let me up there? There's blood and ashes on the kitchen floor. Wait. Five seeds? Oh, fuck yeah, dude! Are you kidding me? That's the thing, Aski. I've been thinking about this game for months. If it doesn't end with a bunch of small animals swarming and killing an exterminator, then, like, what's the point? You know? What's this? Just garbage. Come on, we got a lot of walking to do. Uh... Oh, what voice did I give this guy? I don't remember. Is there someone out there? 
Yeah? Ah. Cool. Might help me out, I'm a bit stuck. Sir Fern, we have to help them. We're never gonna make it to Murda if we get sidetracked by every idiot in distress. Oi! Ready to Murda? I could fly you there. Fly? Of course, that's a carrier basket over there. This person must be a majestic carrier raven. Sir Verm, this is a golden opportunity. A free ticket to Murda. A direct flight would save a lot of time. Weeks, even. Weeks is so much of your life. Alright, sit tight, bird. Cool beans, I'm not going anywhere. Cool beans. This lid looks pretty heavy. Will I be able to lift it? Guess I won't know till I try. I need to show Sir Vrim that I'm not a liability. There must be some way that I can help. Uh, kill the... Look at her little feet. Look at her go. Okay, 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 okay. Did this come in use? What could come in use? There's nothing around. Oh! I knew it. There's all kinds of grand things in here. There's pointy sticks, a rubbery cube. Brute strength didn't work. Maybe I can stab the damn lid open. Sir Verm, I found something! Junk? Not just any old junk. Give me a second. Weeks at- house mice only live 18 months? That's so short? You built a seesaw. A lever! It's a- it's basic mechanics. If we both jump as hard as we can on that end, the lid will go flying. Will it really? Trust me. Are you ready, bird? Ready for what now? You're ready. Fine, let's give this a shot. On three. One. Two. No! <laughs> oh my days. I almost died in there. I have no idea how you two busted me up, but mad respect. How'd you even get stuck in the first place? So... Like... You know that thing where you smell a bit of food and you follow it and the next thing you know you're stuck in a box surrounded by garbage? Yeah. Oh yeah, the name's Dizzy, by the way. Pleasure to meet you, Dizzy. I'm Lady Siobhan, and this is Sir Verm. Again, I'm not a knight. He says you two are headed to murder the Roden capital, right? I don't know what accent I'm giving him. I don't know what accent I'm giving You know, does anyone know? Does anyone know what, what voice is coming- what happens to me? I don't even know what I was doing. I'm trying to remember, like, what I was doing. And, like, how I was doing it with my mouth. And it's so hard. I'm so- <laughs> Like, like, all thought- Now that you've, like, called me out on it, all thought has left me. Like, obvious- Okay, listen. Obviously, the bird is probably from- Like, it's a pigeon. It's probably from, like, Minnesota. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It- Let me take a sip. Let me think. I don't... Okay, I don't remember what I was doing. This is gonna be a problem. Accent like in Fargo? Absolutely not. <laughs> Thank you for the sip. Accent like in... Isn't that just like... Basically... Basically Canadian, but not Canadian? So I'm doing it anyway, you just don't realize. I'm already doing it. This is giving me unbearable stage fright. Now that I'm like aware of an accent that I'm doing, but not sure. I don't know what I did with my mouth. I don't know. I'm not doing the creature. He's not a creature, okay? He's not him. We're not, it's not the creature. I don't know what it's doing. L Listen, we're gonna figure it out as we go. The bird's voice? The bird is a voice actor. 
The bird is a voice actor. The bird's gonna figure it out as we go, okay? And then it's just gonna like happen to us. I have to, I'm not gonna make him from New York, okay? I already got the rats from New York. All right, the, when we see the rats again in the rat monarchy, the rats are from New York, okay? We don't need to do, no, it's over. The bird is, <laughs> no, it's like Christopher Walken for a second. Oh, I can't do a Christopher Walken impression. That was just like... <laughs> the bird. Oh my god. Alright. That journey is a breeze. This is a short flight southwest of here. Okay. Are you gonna take you right away? <laughs> what do they sound like in Texas? I'm not from Texas. I'm not from Texas. You think I can do, do Texas? All right, I need to get back. I've, I've like lost the plot. I've lost the plot. We've brought. Get, I'm gonna. I'm getting back into the. I'm getting back into the headspace. I'm getting into the headspace. Everybody, shut up. Everybody, stop. We're starting over. We're starting over. Carlos, shut up. <laughs> Are you sure that's so kind of you? Hey, it's the least I can do for getting me. Out. I don't know what I was doing. How do you do a southern accent? How do you do it? I don't know. <laughs> Think of Palatine. Y'all, this is the least I can do for getting me out of that thing. I would, no, that's not it. It's not, that's not it. Y'all, howdy. Like Elvis Presley? Is Elvis Southern? What is- I've always thought of Elvis Presley as just like his accent is Elvis Presley. You know? Like that's his accent. Rach, hi. Welcome to the worst part of the stream. Welcome to the worst part of the stream. You're... Basket's all prepped and waiting. Okay, bye. We're off to the... No, Rich, I chose to replay it from the beginning because there's new people in stream who didn't, like, see the beginning. And now I'm... I did a southern accent for a second. And then everyone said I was doing a southern accent. And now my brain is, like... I've never heard a southern accent in my life. And I can't redo it and like i'm trying to figure out what to do with my mouth and it's just not happening you clipped wait becca wait wait you clipped it everybody shut up Okay. Understood. Hold on tight, cause I ain't stopping if you fall. See, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. I just need to hear myself do it again. That's it. Cause like, everyone was just being like, think of Paula Dean. I don't know who the fuck- I don't know Elvis Presley? He doesn't- We did it. We're okay. Oh my god, Siobhan. The station is Murda. Had a good flight? Yeah, pretty smooth. What do you think, Siobhan? She's dead. Ah, uh, she's gone. I think the game might be set in London. But we don't know. Yeah, moles ain't built for flying. Anyways, Murda's through a gutter over there. Take you to a pipe that goes down, way down to the under river level. So, Murda lies below us. Just what kind of fancy god building is this place anyway? Beats me, Mouse Gang. Us pigeons just call it the Belfry. <laughs> this is the part of Las Vegas 
that is miniature world landmarks. Exactly. Wait, so that means that he could be Elvis. Because then... Because then Elvis is in Las Vegas all the time. He's everywhere. The gods call it the Western Palace. It's just some old building they use for bureaucratic work. We won't see any godly business because Muriel lies below the floorboards. The rodent city and the godly city. Two societies that are so close but never overlap. Guess you're feeling better. Oh, I suppose I am. Thank you for the trip, Mr. Dizzy. No probs. You two got me out of a real pickle. Feel free to stop by if you need to go somewhere else. Okay. I love you. I hated everything that you brought to the stream and to the energies of the stream. But I love you. Goodbye. This looks pretty bad. The Under River. Oh, the trauma! This must be the Bloody Bridge. Okay. It connects us to the city's east gate. And the rapid water below is the moat of Merida. The current is the mo in the moat is so intense that anyone who falls in is swept straight out to sea. You sure know a lot about a random bridge. It's a famous bridge, Sir Verm. Words have been decided on this very choke point. Fascinating. I think I see the gate ahead. Wait, what did that say? D I didn't- I- the copper doors of Murida's East Gate. The famous city beneath the city is just be- Oh, it's just beyond here. It's her who's talking. State your business! Our business is our own, nosy. Sir Firm, be nice! The verification of all migrants and visitors is standard Murida procedure. I apologize for my companion. He's just a little cranky from the long journey. I'm not cranky. Ahem. State your business! Right. Our business. We are... Um, definitely warriors. Swords for hire. Ha! Every vagabond who picks up a weapon thinks himself a valiant sell sword. And the king's orders merit his borders closed. There's no admittance, especially for vagabonds like yourself. Good day. Can you even make an exception? Oh, he's gone. Psst. You two over here. I'm not doing Bruce's accent. Now, Bruce is going to be a whole thing. Bruce is like a whole thing. Well, so what did it say? I wanted to read the thing above the... Hi, Bruce. Like, I'm not doing this. So what do I do? Because I can't do a Scottish accent. Like, at all. Like, there's nothing- there's nothing in my body, or brain, or anything that can do a Scottish accent. Daniel! I also have Scottish descent, so... I don't- Read it without any accent? I mean, he already does- he already says the words in the Scottish way, so... Ask you on Discord to read the dialogue. <laughs> yeah. The wee book keeper didn't let you pass. I. Is that how you do it? Is that it? Was that good? That's how they talk in it's, it's Scotland, right? Pardon? Beg your pardon? I am Siri. Are you hard of hearing, lad? I said the wee bookkeeper didn't let you pass, I. That's right. Um, okay. Versus Puerto Rican. <laughs> no! Hey, matter, there's another route. I've. I, that's the thing. I just sound Canadian. When I try to do any kind of like like, English or Scottish accent, I just sound like I'm doing, like, a fucking Canadian Minnesota roundaboot. See, this door, it's a service tunnel that goes to Merida. But it's a labyrinth. Tis a labyrinth, he should say. And I know the way. 
So you'll be our guide? That's great. What's your price, Harlequin? Price? I'm no fool. You want seeds, right? Nah. I didn't want your seeds, just your skills. Our skills? You're warriors, eh? Sometimes there's a few wee bugs on the path. I reckon you could bash them silly. If it's just a few wee bugs, why don't you fight them yourself? I'm a bard, not a fighter. <laughs> a lousy pacifist. I think that's a very fair offer, Mr. Squirrel. What do you say, Sir Verm? It's the catch. No catch, lad. Just makes sense to stick in groups from Brave and a Labyrinth. Something smells fishy. Don't be a cynic, Sir Verm. Does this kind stranger really look suspicious to you? Extremely. Stop being silly. We'd be happy for you to join us, Mr. Squirrel. Magic. His name's Bruce, by the way. Firm. And I'm Lady Siobhan. No, wait. Just Siobhan. Nice to meet you, Bruce. Pleasure to meet you both. Let's not waste any more time. Bruce joined the party. He's very large. Like, I cannot stress this enough. He's extremely large. Um... Oh, okay, no, this I can go further. Defending recovers one star. Sweet Melody cures status ailments. What does Sweet Melody do, my boy? Um. Can I. Can I look at you guys and what you do? No. Not out of combat, okay. Increase thing by one, increase max. Increase thing by two, increase max by thing. I mean, status ailment recovery is good. Sure. I mean, he's a bard. He fucking, he's the, he helps. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't even think of using the service tunnel because one of our engineers was eaten by a... Well, they're gone. Welp. Not my fleas, not my circus. Goodbye. It's a copper statue of a shrew holding a scroll. The plaque reads, Beauty can be found in all things. Buildmaster Vishruvius, first architect of Murda. Vishruvius plans ahead. Save your game? Of course. Your game's been saved. What denizens lurk within? You've got a problem. <laughs> Is that good? What was that? What was that? Monkeys are equated to fleas, but a circus is always a circus. That's what that- that's good. Something that should not happen again, Sully Hoof Brand. Something that should never happen again, ever again, ever in my life. I've never- Listen, sometimes I just do- the the voices come out. This is why I can't be a voice actor, because they would give me directions, and instead I would simply black out. There's no thought. Bruce- Bruce is a bard. Bruce is doing a million accents because he's trying to make an impression. And even he doesn't know what's going on. It's all clogged with fat and gunk and god knows what. So we eat? So we eat? Eat? You said it's fat, right? So we can just feast our way through. Verm, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life. The hell's the matter with you? Does this blob look appetizing? I mean, food's food. I've got a better idea? Anything's a better idea, Siobhan. Anything is a better idea. This is an under-river pipe, right? So there must be a way to control the water flow. If we can increase the pressure, the blockage will pop right out. Hey, you're a smart one, ain't ya? I reckon that just might work. Let's go find a tap or lever or something. Summon. Consume. This is where the bugs live, right? You're the distant sound of running water. The ocean floor was my domain. I dined on fish to keep me sane. What was that? What was what? Nothing, I must be hearing things. 
Well, that actually worked. Nice job, both of you. Let's press on. Who knows what this accent is? Oh! Oh, oh he's approaching. Oh, he's approaching. <laughs> oh, he's retreating. Oh, hello. A foul roach. Just a wee bug. You've got this. Oh, so you're literally not going to help? No. Fine, help me out, Siobhan. The creature. Kill. No. Oh, he like super died. Okay. Okay, looks like another boxed pipe, fellas. What a pain. No point dawdling, let's solve this. He died. Wait. Okay, there's the pipes, but then there's this. Oh! You found a button shield! That's the cue I've ever seen in my life. Wait a second. Held items. Who needs more defense? You have four defense. You have two defense? Jesus Christ. Oh, two, three. You hear the hiss of building pressure. Hear the distant sound of running water. The sea went dry as fish ran few. I ventured far for something new. Did you hear that? Just the gargle of the pipes, lad. I think I heard it too. It's a voice, but not one from any rodent I know. It's the creature! Another pipe unclogged of god filth. Hey, mouse, I can't help but notice... You don't have a tail. You can't just ask someone that! So what? Just curious where it went, Saul. The yellow god took it. Yellow god? Servrim's looking for him. He said he'd to murder to find leads. But I'm gonna kill him. Wait, what? You didn't mention that before! A mouse who wants to kill a god? You're one mad lad. Goodbye. Oh! <laughs> I love these guys. They're doing a little jig. We're not gonna rage this time, because... Oh, blunt damage. Okay. Punk. Goodbye! Another blockage? This is getting tedious. This is the last one, I swear. Murda's right on the other side of this pipe. Hey Bruce, why are you headed to Murda anyway? Gonna busk for seeds? Not quite. I'm meeting up with my b My bandmate. Your what? Your boyfriend? Your boy why did you say that? Why did you stutter? Then we're gonna head to Sky Garden and play music for the squirrel dude. Oh, I've always wanted to see Sky Garden. Don't bother, I hear the squirrels there are a violent bunch. Vern, that's so rude! Ha, <laughs> that's true. Sky Garden's ruled over by Glan Grey. They've long earned their reputation as a bunch of, bunch of nasty bampits. Bampots. Anyway, so let's get this over with. I agree. Oh. <laughs> Three of them. Oh, I love these guys so much. Yes. Look at him doing a little dance.
No! No! The creature! No! realize that Verm like spits on the ground after a fight. And I need him to relax. Okay, we got the VI. We got the V. We got the We got the pipe that we came from. Wait. Because there's this way. And then there's also this way. I'm having a panic attack. Oh, this is the creature. You found an avarice spider. Well, that's one of the worst things. Cool. Hi. Why do you look like that? Why is that something that you've decided? No. Hey. It's kind of rude, my boy. Don't do that. <laughs> I like this guy. He's just hanging out. Oh, whacking is bad. Oh! <laughs> He's back! Oh, Daniel. Very powerful. Oh, I didn't think that he was gonna... Can I hit him when he's like this? Yes. He just spit on the ground! Firm! You picked up an insect part. Why did you do that? Okay. The copper statue is found a warrior. It seems to have been damaged by the elements. Okay. I've completely lost the plot of, like, where I am. Okay. And then here. All right. It's once it, it's time for everybody's favorite favorite game. Um, it's time for everyone's favorite moment, which is that Brienne can never remember Roman numerals. You can't see me in the camera, but I'm doing a very self-deprecating thumbs up. So, <laughs> so So it's V-I-V-V-I, -V -V -I, and I'm just like, yeah, it sure is. V is five. I need four. Is I V four? There's four? All right. Got it. Great. Awesome. Wrong one. Alright, four, five. Carlos, this is Bruce. He's Scottish. And he's a squirrel. So. Pursuing tastes of sweeter meats, I brave foul streams for gourmet treats. Yeah, that sounded pretty close. I can I deny I heard that one. What did you get us into, clown? Clown! Burn, you're so rude. Carlos, shut up. It's him. What is that? Just a wee bug. You got this. That's not a bug, you flea bitten fool. Looks like the deep sea denizens I've read about. Did it come all this way for a meal? 
Now here I stand, thy lives forsaken. Commit thy name, for I am Kraken. Kra Kraken? Forsaken? Forsaken Kraken? I wish we could really use your help with this. Hi, right you are. I'll play a tune to raise your spirits. That's not helpful. It is, though. I'll dice you into calamari. I don't think fire is going to be very effective against the octopus. Yeah. Okay. Heal an ally, give a bonus turn to an ally. Great. Nerve toxin? So I found out- I found out yesterday while I was, um, while I was looking this game up to, like, on the Twitter account, um, that there is- we are going to encounter a bard- this is all I know- we are going to encounter a bard in this city who is voiced by an ex-member of the Mechanisms, for anybody, and he sings a song. I think he sings a few songs, actually. So everybody who's a fan of that in the chat and likes the- the, the soundtrack, get ready for that. Can I burn the octopus? No. Okay. Just had to check. Oh, we're out of, we're out of juice. No! Hey! <laughs> Don't whack me. Silly friend, no! No! Is nine health, please. Oh my god. Kill. Javon, kill. What strength such tiny creatures bear. You force my flight to an empty lair. Yay, we leveled up. Javon learned overclock. Okay, can someone please tell me? What did I tell you? Just a wee bug. An ocean monster doesn't count as a wee bug. Did it bother you had it in the bag? I don't appreciate being deceived. I was like, what the fuck did he just say? But I understand. I got he had to hide. Oh yeah, then why wear a mask? Why are you two fighting? We're nearly at Murda. Your mole friend's right. The sun is done. May point squabbling. I guess. All right, Tamurda. This is where the demo ended. So. How do I look at their skills? Like, she learned... She learned Overclock. I want to see it. Increase health, increase attack. Mechanical exploit. Focus fire. Well, I'm a sucker for that. Okay. Oh, he heals when he's berserking. An additional turn of berserk. Bleed damage? I love bleed damage. Are you kidding me? The final part of multiple attack hits twice as hard. I love that. Oh my god, you do get a god killing thing. I want to hit a guy very hard. 
I'm gonna heal though, because. Alright, my boy. Good job. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you all. We're here. This is now the game is all new to me from this point forward. This is Murda? Hi, this is it. It doesn't look as glamorous as I imagined. Oh, this is just the shipping district. Hold on, I'll walk you over, over to city center, over that way. Hi. Clear out of here, punks. We got merch to move. Merch? You found two seeds? Yeah, I fucking did. Oh my god, there's stuff over there. Steel. Thievery. You came here through the service tunnel? You absolute plonkers. Hey, I guess you survived. Welcome to Merida. Another little S. Stinton was here. Stilton. I'm stealing from this asshole. I found an onion. Whoa! <laughs> That's ratless. I I'm closing the game. I'm closing the video game. I'm closing it. It's over for me. <laughs> it's over for me. The unbelievable. Oh my god. That's ratless. The statue of city center. Which means this is where we part ways. I'm meeting my bu- My friend, the Moroff to Sky Garden. Good luck, Bruce. Play their stockings off. Will do, and thanks for all the help. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Maybe. Maybe it's up to the gods. Take care. Bye, Bruce. I've got things to do here, too. I know you're looking for leads on the yellow god. Sir Verm, I want to help, and I'm not taking no for an answer. So I'm gonna do some research at Murda's library. A library? Well, that's the best place to learn new things, right? There might be a book on the Yellow God. Makes sense, I guess. Books aren't my thing, so I'm heading to the Royal Palace. But the king knows a thing or two. So, Rim, I don't think they let just anybody have an audience with the king. I didn't think of that. You reckon there's a booking system or something? Maybe? Whatever, I'll go find out. Let's split up and meet back here in a little while. Okay. Ratless. It's a marble statue of Ratless. The giant rat angered the gods when he stole the secret of electricity. As punishment, he must hold an enormous weight until the end of time. <laughs> so the sure legend goes. Ratless bears his burden. Yes. Ratless. We should have feel there's something. There's no room here. I'm gonna be captain of Murda PC. Just you watch. Just done me shopping. The merchant quarter's so convenient. Can I see it? Oh my god, look at all these cute little- Look at her shoes! This is so good. Excuse me, you there, are you looking to buy some delicious... Fusta colada- I don't know what that is. Fustuk? The most delicious snack, very nutritious and filling. Oh, pistachios, I've eaten one of those before. Not like this. I personally shipped them from my home overseas. His name's Jerbo, cause he's a Jerboa. Cause he's a Jerboa. Their flavor far surpasses the kind of Demurda. Rich and creamy, delicious by themselves, or grind into a Gorba biscuit. You make a good pitch. How much? Seven seeds each. A bargain? Not right now. Oh ho, you drive a hard bargain. Just this once for you, I will cut the price. Five seeds. I don't- I don't know what I- okay. Many thanks, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Is that- Incredibly Moorish. Feels eight. Okay, I need to start working on everybody's health items after this. There's a clothing store. I can go up the cans. 
Who is that? I'm insane. What? Oh. Aha, you. Me? You, you're late. I am. Are you not the apprentice I requested? I am. Oh, I knew it. Abuzado, the merchant extraordinaire, has your eye for these things. Listen well, my apprentice. There's a dock worker, Canard's Wharf, who has a package for me. Retrieve it, and I'll reward you with a seed or two. Fine, whatever a seed's a seed. <laughs> but no peeking. If you peek at the package, then you shan't be paid even a threepence. Alright, the work you said, that's not far at all. Great. Creatures. Cross the ruler. The Taming of the Shrew. Delayed due to the plague. I'm so bored. The Merchant Quarter used to be bustling with life, but then we were hit with that plague. Lost. Pet Crockroach answers to Miss Wiggles. Oh, I hope I didn't kill Miss Wiggles. Boy, sword boy. You scared of spiders? No. And then I can't handle why. For no reason. The spider house. The creature! A spider squatter! Oh! Oh, they're friendly! The spider seems to be trying to communicate. Do they want something? Oh, oh, oh! Does, does the spider want some food? The spider is shaking. Yeah, you have an insect part. You offer the insect part. Oh! The spider throws ten seeds at you. Oh, I love this guy. Enjoy! Enjoy my little friend. Very good. Very powerful. Alright, I want to talk to these guys. I once saw God pick his nose and eat it. It was gross, but kind of humbling, you know? We're just crumbling. Enjoy it while it lasts. Alright, alright, wait, wait, wait. There's so many things. There's a coffee shop. There's this guy. Fresh veg! Get your fresh veg here! And he's- that's all he's gonna say. Coffee. I'm gonna cry. Fresh coffee, three seats for a cup. Not right now. Maybe later then. I wanna know how, how much everything costs. I'm writing an RPG. I'm nowhere near done though. It'll take most of my life to finish this damn thing. Yeah, you only have, like, what, a few weeks? Drip King! Look at it- look at the clothes. Hey, you! See this fit? How do you rate it? 100 out of 10. It cannot be improved. You are the epitome of fashion. Ha, you flatter me. That won't get you a discount. Still, you are clearly a man of good taste. Come talk to me when you're ready to shop. I'm ready to shop. I can help you look as- so I can help you look a fraction as cool as me, but it'll cost you. How much? Twelve seeds. What exactly am I buying? You're buying my eye for fashion. I'll ask you some questions, take some measurements, and make an outfit for you. What do you say? Yes. I, there's- I'm not even hesitating. There's no question. Oh yeah! A few short questions. You ready? Hit me. Great. Question Ichi. Should fashion always be practical? Practical. I want it. I want to know. I want to know what all the options. So that he gives me. Oh my god. Depends. Interesting take. Next, how many pairs of shoes do you own? Like a few. Fair enough. <laughs> Last one, this one's a toughie. Skinny or baggy jeans? Normal? Alright, question time's over. I think I've got a good feel for the kind of fashion you're into. Let me just grab something special from round back. Here, try this on. You're gonna look hella dapper in your new threads, I swear. Safe travels and stay stylish. Holy shit, that's a good jacket! Oh my god! We're cool as fuck! What's this? I'm so proud of my Molly's creativity. But she gets through paints faster than I can make them. 
Say, perhaps you can help. Don't bother strangers for your errands, mother. Oh, he doesn't mind, do you, young man? No problem. Just paint writers or craft supply shop in Merida or something? If only. We have to make our own pigments from natural ingredients. The song that plays when you fight the big men in the sewers is called Mega Volmania. Okay. Okay. All right. I right, sips to that one, everybody. Sips to that one. Holy fuck. Holy shit. To craft a perfect indigo, we first must pluck 40 petals from a hydrangea in full bloom. I don't have time for that. How about I just go nab some godly paint instead? That would be easy. Godly paint? Well, that really would be something. I wouldn't ask you to risk life and limb over paint, though. It's nothing. I have a nose for these things. Sit tight. I'll be back later. New location to add to my map. Portraits are popular, but I'm trying to paint something new. Something different. Okay. What do you mean, been added to my map? I have a map? I have a map? Where? Unclear. Oh, there's a secret. Two seeds. I want coffee. What kind of milk? Oat. Oat, please. The only correct choice. Here you go. You received a coffee. Drink it while it's hot. Joking, who am I? The royal coffee master? Drink it whenever you bloody well want. Thank you. So many fun little treats. Okay. Wait, was there a way... I think this is the only... No, there was this. Which I'm curious about. Oh, is that a bat? Hey, kid, want to buy something? Special? What you got? You're a fighter, right? So how about a berserker mushroom? The water voles of Scanvik eat them before battle. True facts. Oh. What is... Okay, it says Agab on the left. All gods are bad? Is that what they're saying? Is that what they mean? All gerbils are bastards. One mushroom's eight seeds. I don't have that money. I'm gonna cry. Look at this. I'm taking a screenshot. Young King Titan's border, a win for the people. <laughs> One can't help but wonder. Oh. Dad's working late again. Wait, what do you got there? My sword? Not that stupid thing. That piece of paper, is it a drawing? Oh, the map. This? It's a map. Can't make whisker nor, nor tail of it, though. Oh, cool, it's got an X, just like it's marking some pirate's treasure. Sure, just like that. Looks like the maps of the kingdom I've seen in school. That big blue squiggle is the King's River, and Murder's over here, just next to it. But the X is way over there in the northeast. Oh, right, so north is up. Did you miss a class in school or something? I never went. Well, lucky! Where's my map? What do you mean, my map? The kid's strong. You have no idea who these people are. I'm stealing their money, though. Oh, I guess when I go see the pigeon. Book Nook! So, Leo from Welcome Back! No, the trinket- the treasure map is in the trinkets. But, um... But I can't actually, like, look at it or perceive it. I keep telling people this isn't a library, and yet people come in just to stand around reading our books. Wind in the Willows, of course. I came here just to smell the books. Love a new book scent. Me too. 
Mouse Wife Missives, A Tale of Lust and Longing. I would love to read it. The cover's enticing, but now is not the time to read this. Oh, is it horny? Ground floor fiction, first floor nonfiction. If you eat it, you buy it. Starcross Squirrels, it looks well read. Oh my god. Oh dearest Sheena, I long once again to feel thy embrace, and yet I fret our love cannot be so, for squirrels gray and red cannot be wed, lest our fathers clash in battle throw. Clans gray and red are not but shades, mere dye upon an artist's canvas. If color stands before our love, then I renounce my father's hue. Come take my paw, dear Mariette, and let us paint a color new. Lesbian squirrels! The Moonlight Mystery. Detective gazed at the scene. Blood splatters, claw marks, furniture torn in two, all the classic hallmarks of a titan attack, just like the old mole had said. But something didn't add up. Why did the victim reach for his silver knife instead of his steel sword, unless... A shiver shot down the detective's spine and a whisper passed through her teeth. Must wolf. Oh no. Destitute. Sir Jacques threw a ragged vole at the Loremaster's feet. I caught this scum making off into the night with a bag of your seeds. The Loremaster shook his head. By this rodent's no thief, I gave him these seeds as a parting gift. Sir, Sir Jacques let out a huff. He turned to his prisoner. Seems that the Loremaster has saved your tale today. But mark my words, I've got my eye on you, Volshine. <laughs> Oh, God. Who the fuck are you? I need a sip again. Jesus Christ. A cell sword? Shoot, I have no time for you. Okay. Gods, life and death. As a lore master who has dedicated her life to studying the behavior of gods, the most common question I get asked is, are the gods mortal? A controversial subject, to be sure, but there are verified witness accounts of gods succumbing to death by sickness, grievous carriage injury, and even old age. The second most common question it, I get is, how do the gods reproduce? To which I answer, noisily. Okay, Rage, thank you for the sip. Delicious Mouse Recipes by Jean Olive. Oh my god. Pasta a la Jean, dinner for one, ingredients, one piece of penne. One small tomato, an acorn cup of water, salt, pepper, basil, and orga orega oregano. Wow, I could not say that. Crush the tomato. Mix the tomato water and spices. Stuff the penne tube with the sauce and place in a metal pan. Pour your remaining sauce on top. Bake for 15 minutes. Bene sapia. I don't know what the fuck that means. You see a book titled Nora's Fall. True Empress Nora was born in the twilight years of the Golden Laurel Empire, an era marked by rampant inflation, unprecedented austerity, and endless plagues. The citizens of Meridium called for respite from their squalor, but Nora had none to offer. If the mice are hungry, they can eat their thatched roofs, the Empress famously muttered. On a late summer's day, tensions came to a boil. Citizens pounded on the palace doors and demanded justice. The senators, led by Senator Decimus, were happy to oblige. Speaking to the crowd, Decimus denounced Nora as the sole source of the citizens' ills. He proposed that, to assess Nora's guilt, she should be put through a trial by fire, an arcane test even for its time. This is so long. The Imperial Guards constructed a great pyre of timber and straw in Meridium City Square. They tied Nora to its central mast. With a single spark, the pyre ignited and the crowd let loose a raucous cheer. The fire ate its fair share, but it hungered for more. Flames danced from pyre to haystack, from haystack to roof, and soon the whole city was ablaze. The damage caused by the Great Fire Trial was immense. Mer Meridium burned to the ground, thousands of rodents died, and millions were displaced. The godly, the godly city above, too, suffered greatly. Thus, the Great Golden Laurel Empire was reduced to ash. Okay. James's Ascent. When the flames of the Great Fire Trial grew beyond control, the Imperial soldiers were the first to scatter and flee, leaving the Meridium citizens to a blazing demise. But then, a mouse peasant called Arch Archura... Oh god, step forward. She rounded up a dozen of her peers, James, Vishruvius, and Grace the Red among them, and demonstrated how to fashion- Why is it like, Grace the Red and then James? They demonstrated how to fashion a smoke-proof mask from a thimble and a dampened cloth. The group set to work, putting out fires and directing others to safety. The fire consumed Meridium and much of Rodentia. However, thanks to Artura's quick and selfless actions, thousands of lives were saved from a horrific demise. In the following days, once the ash had settled and the tears had been shed, the people of Meridium nominated Artura to lead the city as the first in a new line of monarchs, but she declined the offer, nominating James the Black Rat in her stead. Thus, James was crowned as the first king of Rodentia, with Artura serving as both blademaster and founder of the aptly named Thimble Guard. One of, out of the ashes of Meridium, the modern city of Merida was constructed. Since James's crowning, the Blue Rat Monarchy has reigned over Rodentia for over 300 years. 
Why exactly Artura declined the throne will perhaps forever be a mystery. So think about that. Get me out of here. Hi. Out of my way, nerd! Shoom! Okay, sorry. The gods above us never stop hooting and jeering. Makes it hard to get some shut-eye. Sniff, strive, squeak. Everyone sips to that. Sips to that. Sniff, strive, squeak. Very powerful. Very powerful. Hey, you're good at robbing people. Ever thought about being a landlord? This cube cost me 2,000 seeds a month. It doesn't even come with a loo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where does this go? Here he is! I take requests. What are you in the mood for? A blessing. A blessing, alright. It's a dangerous world out there. Stay safe, traveler. This is a good video game. I would talk to people, but I don't want to talk over him, so... I want to listen to both of his songs, because that's really important, so... Heroic Tale! Give me all your songs. It's of courage, it's of chivalry. This is so important to me. This is so important to me! Mouse Bard! This is Percy's retirement gig, rage. The simple guards at Saw Hill in a desperate fight were locked. The shrewd defense is overrun, and the captain's strategy is all undone by Iron Fang the Fox. This is, I'm so at peace right now. The joy in my heart is immense. That could be me. I could put a needle through the eye, and then what? I 
have to go swap out my laundry and put it in the dryer. Um, so I'm going to let him play his catchy song. And I'm going to go do that. Country mice break up your ears and attend I'll be right back. to this city of mine. And if it should please you to buy me a beer, then I'll sing you a song sweet as wine. I've roamed this world over, a red tailed rover, a scholar. So buy me an air and I'll spin you a tale for tomorrow I'm roving along. I've crossed the great waters, I've wooed sons and daughters of rat kings and ball counts galore. But leave them I must, for I'm slave to my wanderlust, shipping my song ashore to shore. I've roamed this world over, a red-tailed rover, a scholar of poem and song. So buy me an air, and I'll spin you a tale, for tomorrow I'm roving along. And I'll share for a flogging, the horned rats of comets dance, blood for Sold. As they tossed back canals by the isthmus canal to the strain of the dawn, I've roamed this world over, a red tailed rover, a scholar of poem and song. So buy me a nail and I'll spin. Hello. That was really good. I kept my headphones on while I left. That was so fun. Thanks, bud. I'm hustling this sucker. Yeah, you are. I think I'm being hustled. <laughs> you know? You know, me too. Me too, but I just have a feeling. I didn't know what the green was. I thought it was like a hood. It's his hair. What's the rush? Stay around for a while. Okay. I'm waiting for my Lapa. He should be here any moment. Lapa? Where I'm from, it means paw, but it also means how to say it. Darling? Ah, uh, got it. Are you the boyfriend? Is that you? You look like a- you- because I was looking at you and I was like, you're very colorful. Your paw, your beloved! Very good, very powerful! What'll it be, friend? What do you recommend? How about the host special? Eight seats for a pint. It'll put hair in your tail. Ah, yes. Sounds good, I'll take one. Special grog! Thank you, Hassan. Oh my god, they just tapped the fucking... A fucking, like, can of... <laughs> Silly Hoofprint. So they, we all went our separate ways when we when we got to town. So Bruce went off and he was like, I gotta go find my b b bandmate, my friend. 
and just left. And then uh, Siobhan went to the library um, to like study up on stuff. And we're looking for like an audience with the king, but I'm also looking at everything else in town. Don't go trying to ride a god carriage while inebriated now, you hear me? I do hear you. Heals 10 may have side effects. Very powerful. Goodbye, Bard. I love you. That was so fun. Wait, Carlos Carpentry. Can I go inside? No. I don't even know where the fuck I am anymore. Mushroom hat. Purple mouse. With a furry tail? What are you? And the perp and the rat with the mushroom and the and it's all quiet and gutter in today. Let's hope it stays that way. Got my me just taking a break from the youngins, all fourteen of them. Run along, scamp, before I put the boots to you. <laughs> just pulling your whiskers. Fourteen of them? Can I see? I want to join the Thimble Guard someday. I could be a real hero, like Mathwell or Diego or Leo. But I can't afford the fees, so I'll stick with family business. Wait, you have to pay a fee to join the Guard? Sort of. You have to pay to get the proper certifications and equipment and stuff. It's not much for nobles, but it's quite a bit for us gutter folk. I see. Oh, I'm waffling. Did you want something? No, I'm just looking around. All right. Tell me about your business, though. Oh, I didn't know he was going to say a different thing. It works all down to one who holds the tool. Oh, I can't ask you about your business. I just have to... <laughs> Heck! No! Wait. Mushroom Meg! The guard are a real pain in the tail. I can barely lift my shack without being stopped and searched. <sighs> the guard ain't so tough, just a bunch of toffs playing soldier. Why do you have a furry tail? We're just not elaborating on this one. <gasps> yeah, I live in a shoe. It stinks, but the rent's an absolute bargain. Okay, I wasn't judging. I wouldn't do that to you. Can I have some soup? Onions and garlic sizzling in golden olive oil. Welcome, most. Welcome to my humble little restaurant. Tell me, do you appreciate the, the fine cuisine of gour- Do you appreciate the fine pleasure of gourmet cuisine? I do. Sure, food's great. <laughs> a connoisseur. If you bring me rare ingredients, I can craft dishes that transcend the usual Muradin swill. I can make... The food of the gods! Okay. What dish to start with? Hmm. Perhaps a delicate nut flour cookie with just a hint of rose water. Bring me a pistachio, and I shall make for you Goriba. Here's your pistachio. Excellent, it smells divine. You must have traveled far to procure it. A guy was selling them up the road. Such humility. Ten seconds, if you please. Cooking montage. If I work some almond flour into a paste, then adds crumbs of pistachio and a single drop of rose water. He bakes the dough in a blazing wood oven, an aroma of sweet and floral biscuits fills the air. Voila! Goriba. You received a Goriba cookie. It smells divine. What next? Perhaps a hearty steamed vegetable dumpling with a sesame dip. Bring me a peanut and a spring onion and I will make for you Bowsy. I have those. Fuck yeah. Cook them up. If I fry the, the spring onion and drop of sesame oil along with a pot full of vegetables and some soy sauce. He pours the mixture onto a sheet of dough, carefully folds it into a ball, and then... Whoa, that's a lot of steam. Voila, Bowsy. Smells divine. I want to make my magnum opus, my ultimate dish. See, I had a dream once. A dream of a forbidden food, a food not even the gods would dare to make. A cookie base encompassing a salad, all in the shape of a paw. Picture it, dessert and greens all in one meal. That sounds odd. Dream big, my friend, but I'll need something special for this to work. Bring me high quality chocolate and I will make for you the king's paw. Okay. I 
I've never heard of King's Hand before. Garbage Boy. Hey. Can I not talk to Garbage Boy? Okay. This leads to the gatehouse. The house must be in the other direction. Okay. I'm looking. Wait, I'm looking. A guy had a dream about a hand-shaped cookie filled with Greek salad, and then he made it? I... Oh. Oh, it's just a tweet? Horrid. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. I'm glad I hadn't heard of it, and now I have to suffer. Now I have- now I've heard of it, and now I must suffer. For my indiscretions. Guess the thing, and then... God damn. Okay, there's a square. There's the merchants. And this is... This road leads to the royal palace. Be on your best behavior, citizen. Okay, Brandon. Wait, I want to save. At Ratliff's. <laughs> It's my favorite thing in the whole world, is Ratless. Ooh, a cat. Is there anything for me to, to steal, to take? Brandon? Alice? The palace is open to celebrate the young king's coronation. It's not an everyday thing. Oh. Jen, feel free to look around, but make no trouble, you hear me? I'm gonna make so much trouble, are you fucking kidding me? There's Bruce! Good old Twisted Tales. I can only leave Anton waiting. Oh my god, please kiss. Please kiss Anton. Oh, I'm being him! I'm playing as him! Anton! Bruce! Oh! No! No, screenshot, oh my god. It has been too long. I missed you, Lapa. I missed you and all, babe. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry. I'm gonna fucking cry. Are you kidding me? How are you keeping? You know me. I'm always fabulous. What about you, Lapa? Why are you wearing mask? It's fashion. It's called fashion, Anton. Look it up. Hey, no need to be sassy. I just thought you were getting ready, you know, for Plan S. I have a plan. We'll travel to Sky Garden and steal the pebble of Scoon right from under Duke Josh's nose. You make it sound easy, Lapa. But still, you know, we lack thieving experience. So I was thinking maybe we could get a third party member, someone who's expert. Oh, an accomplice. That's a fab idea. This pub houses all sorts of neds and rogues. I bet there's a natural thief among us right now. Give me a minute, babe. I'll ask around. He calls him babe. I want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry so hard. Robbery, eh? Wouldn't be my first, but those days are long behind me. I'll dedicate my next song to your good fortune. Thanks. You're robbing Sky Garden? I've heard horror stories about their prison system. Ruthless guards, torture, and whispers of a chained-up dragon, too. So, uh, no. Count me out. Oh, it's the rats! Oh my god, it's the rats! Bruce, don't trust them! You want help? You want my help robbing Duke Josh? Not a chance. The Duke's ruthless, even by Clan Grey's standards. I'm not getting guillotined so you can make off with a paw full of seeds. Oh, I love a good heist, me. Count me in. Ah, but I'm working double time. Guess I'll have to pass. So since the palace gates are open, we should demand to talk to the king himself. You really think he'll listen? Yes, do right. It's his job to serve the people. Sorry to interrupt, lads. You want in on a heist? We're all right, thanks. Yeah, no more pretty con petty crimes for us. We're going straight and trying our hand at a much cleaner career. Politics. Okay. Rumor in the tunnels is Sky Garden has a stoat for a blade master. You couldn't pay me enough to tussle with one of those. No luck? Nah, I asked everyone here too. Maybe this wasn't such a good plan. 
<laughs> I'll take the job. Might be good for a laugh. Who said that? Show yourself. Oh! The name's Jabari. For those who see my handiwork. Call me Pocket. That's the cutest name I've ever heard in my life. Look at this guy. Are you kidding me? Look at him. Oh, I get it. Pockets because you steal. Because you pocket their stuff, I... Right? <laughs> no, but that's pretty good. I'm stealing that. So, you want to break into the in indomitable fortress of Sky Garden to nab a pebble? Aye, the pebble of squ squeen? Squ squeen? Squeen? <laughs> it's a family heirloom. Sounds shiny. Tell you what, I wouldn't normally just help anyone out for free. But I think it would be hilarious for that hoity-toity duke to be taken down a peg. So just this once, I'll offer you my trickster skills totally pro bono. What do you think, babe? This guy sounds pretty great to me. I don't know, Lapa. How do we even know Jabari person is real thief? Aye, that's a good point. Maybe we should set up some sort of test. Ahem. Is this your seed purse hamster? He's a hamster. He's a hamster and he's like Russian? I'm getting? Whatever that is? It is. All right, you're pretty good pocket. You're in. Looks like we're really doing this. I don't want to give him my 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 Russian accent. That feels hurtful. He's a little guy and he's very good and I like him and I don't want him, you know. Yeah, my home. All right. You're Siobhan. I found it. Murda's great library. Nope, that closed down. This is Murda's so-so bookshop. Oh, uh, well, that will have to do. All right, book sent. All right, I already talked to everybody. I've already read the books. It's you. Ah! Oh, I'm very sorry. Your outfit startled me. That's quite all right. Happens all the time. Get that mask. You're a plague master, right? Indeed I am. Plague Master Akia of Murda, to be to be exact. Aki Akia? Akila? Aquila? You must be very knowledgeable then. Maybe you can help. See, I have this friend, and he's looking for a yellow god. Oh, how curious. What do you and your friend know about this yellow god? Well, I don't know much, but my friend who saw it said, Wait, your friend saw the yellow god with his own eyes? Your friend actually met the yellow god and lived? Yeah? Who is your friend? Just a wandering mouse knight? What's the big deal? What's his name? Where is he? You must take me to him. I have to go... Wait, Mo, wait! So the yellow god is more than a myth. What could this mean for Murida? The king! I must alert the king post-haste! Oh no, the creatures... It's a statue of Redentra's reigning monarch, King James... Okay. Russian numerals. R Russian? Roman numerals? What the goddamn fuck is that? Considering rats live like a year, I imagine that, yeah, he's he's up in like the hundreds. Right? Or something? Or he's like in the high... 45! That's a big boy! his right paw, he holds the, spect the scepter of legal authority. In his left, the orb of divine rule. Oh my god, I am pondering the orb. The king of jurors, save your game. Please, please. Oh, I do hope the young king lives up to his mother's fine reputation. Gods rest her soul. Okay, Ophelia. Ian! Why are all the mice named, like, Brandon? Rob? Visitors always ask me about secret passages around the palace, but there ain't any. Trust me, I looked. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, joy! Oh, I'm experiencing joy! Oh, tell me. Lord Cheesecake! The opener of doors and refuser of kisses! Oh! Opossum with a pearl earring. Who is she? Louise, Duke de Campo, okay, unflusterable peace bringer. 
<gasps> Find here's the bear. Little Dan! Touch my stuff and I'll bury you. Let me in. Well, bury me, I'm stealing. No, I'm not stealing. It's Bob! We open our gates for one day and suddenly every Egypt wants to rifle through our stuff. Yeah, I'm Egypt. I'm here to steal. Hey! Keep your grubby paws to yourself. The f this the, the cheesecake is really killing me. He's got his little keys. He denies kisses, but he's good. Oh! <laughs> Save Halftail, Frontier Explorer of the Emerald Marshes. Sir Hamilton Flint, Tamer of Titans, Champion of the Wayward Star. Murray Cloudrunner, Skybound Inventor and Maddest of Lads. Sir Gale, Sharpshooter of the Thimble Guard, Heroic Defender of Two Tail Pass. First day on the job, and I'm kind of scared. Leo and Rosie and everyone else is so cool. I'm really going to let them down. Just do your best, I guess. Yeah, thanks. Obviously, these portraits are Kickstarter back. I mean, I hope. They're so good. I'm so excited. I'm going into every door. I'm going to kiss all the portraits. And please let me in. Oh my god. <laughs> the joy in my heart. Brian Bryanson. Seasoned traveler and trinket connoisseur. Sir Theo of Ringsalot, Knight of the Order of the Silver Tomb. Sir Oscar the Mighty, small in stature, unyielding in spirit. Cornflower the Childish. In French. Supposed to be enlisting people for the guard, but nuts to that. Job's cursed. Come sign up if you want to give and or receive some fresh trauma. He's drinking from a peanut. No, don't steal that. It's a priceless artifact. Ah, uh, just kidding, I don't give a shit. It's all yours, little guy. Thanks, bud. Love you. Door's locked. Door's locked. Door leads to Plague Master Aquila's lab. A right weirdo, that one. Okay, so they work here. I'm on the move. I'm running. Oh my god! The Night Guard. King James I addresses Blademaster Artura and the First Thimble Guard. My sister's running late for roll call on her first day as well. She's gonna get churned out at this rate. The, uh, be honest with me. Does that hat make me look distinguished? It's cool. It's great. Rock that look. Oh, really? Awesome. I wasn't sure I could pull it off. I'm hoping to make Sergeant one day. Maybe this hat will make me stand out. It sure will, dude. Oh my god! Magnus, the boy is spoiled and foolish. Yes, dear Magnus, but his counsel is wise and experienced. Let us lend the full support of our baronies. <laughs> As if we have a choice. That's a small guy. Who are you? Don't dawdle here, peasant. You're stinking up the place. Don't mind Alex. He's just bitter that Sir Leo stole his Blade Master title. Okay. Oh my god. Look at this giant! King James's lament. In the wake of the Great Fire, the first king of Merida surveys his ashen kingdom. Who is this giant man? The hammer of justice falls heavy. Take thy leave, lest thou wishest to bear its weight. Are you like a guinea pig? Sure, Diego sure is something. When I stand guard with him, I feel downright unqualified. Did you want something? Can I see the king? Yeah, nah, sorry. You gotta request a formal audience for that privilege. Can I do that? Okay, sure thing. Just so you know, the waiting list is three months long. Put me down, sounds good. Alrighty, name, Verm. Surname, uh, no worries, I know how it is. I'll just write down Verm of the Under River. Matter of business, God slaying. <laughs> is that the name of your play or comedy set or something? No, don't tell me, I wanna be surprised. You're all booked in, come back in three months. Fine, I will. I'll be dead by then. Touch not the door. Thou hast no business with the royal court. Okay, sorry. Javon is right, I'm not getting an audience with the king, but maybe she managed to uncover something. Run, 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 little man. Run, little creature. Go, 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 go. 
Ah! No, 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 I want in. All right, they're telling the king. Can I follow them or am I supposed to leave? Let me go to the door and see if he's like, I want to follow that weirdo. No, he's not. He doesn't give a fuck. This is our opportunity, Stilton. Our day to let the king know everything wrong with our kingdom. Don't bother, he doesn't see plebs. Hey, I know you. You're that brat who cut down Chief Sava. You ain't that f you and that flea bag brother of yours. My brother was no flea bag. Where's your bro? I don't see him around to save your hide. I save my own hide now. Looks like a fight's brewing. Should we stop them? Nah, the mouse looks scrappy. I want to see where this goes. I bet you two have a lead on the yellow god. Tell me everything you know. You'll have to make us, Pipsqueak. Kill mode. Is that Chief Titan's Reaper? Now hold on just one second. Round two, bozos. Let's rock. Oh my god, they do one damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. They died. Alright, mate, you have made your point. The yellow god, get talking. Haven't heard that name for a while. Not since, you know. Yeah, and to be honest, there ain't much to tell. Just that he's a harbinger of death and doom and all. I know all that. Tell me something new. Sorry, mate's all we got. You should talk to the Kaliak. Talk to the the Kaliach. The the Kalich. The K the K talk to the guy if you want to know something. Kalik? Yeah, yeah, the Kalik of the woods. Where in the tunnels is she lived for four hundred seasons. She's seen everything and knows everything. You're obviously pulling my whiskers. I swear it on Sava's soul. You two are useless. Is he hunting the yellow god? That's not gonna end well. A little loose in the head he is, but can't fault his determination. Should we still go see the king? Nah, the wild one's got a point. The king's far too pompous to see us plebs. Oh my god, James. Strength and stability. That is what my mother promised this kingdom. And that is what I shall deliver. Virtuous and ambitious, your majesty, but your decision to close the east gate has caused unforeseen issues. Intercity commerce is down a quarter. Tourism is faring even worse. If we don't reopen, we may have a recession on our paws. What are your thoughts, Blade Master? Whether the gates are open or closed, Murda's safe. The Thimble Guard are more than capable of facing any threat to the city. So perhaps your majesty should consider the needs of the people. The needs of the people. Elias Mouchard. Her Majesty. Pugmaster, you know you were dismissed from the King's Council. Take your leave. This is a matter of great importance, Needle Knight. National security. National security, my tail. Please proceed, Plague Master. There are two subjects of interest in the city, a mole girl and a vagabond mouse. I believe they possess knowledge of a great supernatural force. I request that you rally the Thimble Guard to find them and... A great supernatural force? Ghosts and Muswolves. wolves. Your Majesty, pay this fearmonger no heed. Hold your tongue, Needle Knight. You have no idea of the terrors that this kingdom faces. Enough quibbling. Both of you. Lore Master, what is your counsel? Hmm, well, I don't know about any supernatural force, but we did receive a butterfly just this morning from the Lady of Cranbale Village. She claims that her daughter, a noble mole named Siobhan, was abducted. The culprit, a vagabond mouse wielding a god weapon, is en route to the capital. Such coincidental timing, one can't help but wonder, could this be the same pair? It must be, the girl was dressed like nobility. Well, what are you waiting for, Needle Knight? Rally the Thimble Guard, search the city! I'll brief damn Rosaline and damn Maze on the matter, that should suffice. That's all? Two amateur knights? The Scissor Maidens are more than capable of handling a trivial kidnapping case. Your Majesty, this is a very serious matter. I trust Leo's judgment. We'll go with his recommendation. 
If that's all, then take your leave, Plague Master. Ingi. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll see the rat out. Can you say that? Can you say rat derogatory when your king is a rat? Where were we? Oh, yes, the East Gate. This is so, like, cinematic. They were, like, getting little cutscenes and stuff. I love it. <gasps> Sir Diego. Blade Master. What do you make of Plague Master Akila? Akia? My thoughts matter not, for as Thimbleguard I am bound by duty. I'm not asking Sir Diego, the Iron Justice. I'm asking Diego, my dearest friend. The immediately Akila claims to value the pursuit of knowledge above all else, and yet they work behind locked doors. Their secrecy betrays an abhorrent motivation. Like an innocent lily with twisted, poisoned roots. Pray that the rat's words do not infect the young king's mind. God's willing. God's willing. Blade Master, I'm hoping I'm not interrupting. You requested my presence for a special mission. I did. Where's your sister? She's, um. Ah, I lost track of time. I can't believe I'm messing up on my first day. I'm so stupid. Macy, take it easy. Slow breaths. She's all right, Rosaline? I I'm fine. Sorry, please continue, Blade Master. I'll keep this brief. Listen closely. There's a noble mole who's been kidnapped by a vagabond mouse. You're here already. Did you learn anything? Yeah. City folk are weird. No argument there. I couldn't meet the king. But I did learn about a so-called Avashin Tower. <laughs> Ghosts and muswolves, am I right? Kali. Mammy taught me the legend of the cow. She's as old as the mountains, as wise as the gods, but as cold as winter. She lives at the top of an ashen tower where she watches the world with unblinking eyes. Huh, so the rats weren't lying. Where is this ashen tower? In the heart of the gloaming woods near Sky Garden. So goes the legend, at least. Sky Garden, that sounds familiar. New location out of your map! So, is that where you're headed next? I suppose. It's a bad lead, but it's the only lead I've got. Are you hoping to tag along or something? I'd love to! That wasn't an invitation! But it's not like I can stop you. Izzy probably knows where Sky Garden is. We'll hitch another ride. It seems a shame to leave Murda right after we got here. Well, I'll make sure to go around shop. Make sure- I'll make sure to do around shopping before we go. Sounds great. Awesome. I'll follow your lead, Sir Verm. Alright. I have things to equip. Um. What if you have this on? And then you have more health and defense because you're very small and have no money and I can't even imagine the stress that you're under. Do you want to, uh, hold this, just in case? I don't know, dude. Alright, off we go. Into the pit. Oh wait, I had to do an errand for the dock, right? Are you the guy? What guy? The guy with the box or something? I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, I get it. Yeah, sure, I'm the guy. Mr. Obizato ropes you into do being his errand boy, didn't he? That happens sometimes. Well, there you go, it's just what that weirdo ordered. You weirded a strange package. It was a pain sink of that thing through customs, so don't go dropping it now. Can I look at it? There's a fat, wriggling white worm inside! The worms! I kind of want to take it. Oh, you brought it. But tell me, did you peek? Yes. That is honest, very honest, an admirable trait and an apprentice. You've successfully completed the first task. Here's your paycheck as promised. Wait, first task? How many are there? I've got more important things to do, you know. Trivial worries, on to the second task. There's a weaver and gutter end who ordered this package, a blonde mouse named Connor. 
Deliver it to him and procure his payment. Is it easy enough? Okay, I'll do this first, yeah. That's fine. Javon, can you not jump? Hi, bat guy, I love you. Wait, this isn't gutter end. This is gutter end. Hi, bud. I think I'm supposed to give you this? Oh yeah, I ordered this straight from- Oh, bizarro. That mad merchant kid is pausing anything. Red tape be damned. What exactly is in the box? You're better off not knowing. Anyway, thanks a lot for the delivery. The payment? Oh, huh, yeah. Uh, I owe Abizado quite a few seats for this, but I haven't got much on hand. I got offered some of my best silk instead. Do you think that'll cover the cost? How should I know? Linen rags, silk, it's all just cloth to me. Whatever, I'll pass it on and see what he says. Thanks for delivery. Safe travels. No problem. I love little delivery quests. Some people don't like them, and they say that it sucks. I disagree. I say that giving people little treats is a fun experience. Oh, you did it. I did, and I got a reward. A sheet of fine silk. That was not the agreed-upon payment. But whom am I to deny such a fine luxury? Here's your paycheck as promised. Ready for task three, as if I have a choice. There's a lady by the name of Matilda who lives in the duchy... The, the duchy... The duchy... The duchy... Does an eye for fine fabric. Politely asked her to dye this silk a nice shade. Crimson, perhaps. What kind of creature is she? Why, she's a... You know, I have absolutely no idea. Fine, Matilda of Sky Garden, right? That's some way away, so give me some time. I would love to go about my days asking people what kind of creature. That would bring me the most joy imaginable. To go around being like, cool, what kind of creature though? My game has been saved. My throat hurts. <laughs> One second, I'm taking a sip. Hmm. I don't know if, let me see if we can find Bruce. Bruce might have left. Thank you for the sips, everybody. One moment, I'm gonna see if Bruce is around. Yeah, Bruce is gone. I think we'll meet Bruce in Sky Garden. He'll be up to some shit, you know? Bruce is busy being gay and doing crimes with his Russian hamster boyfriend. How do I get back up there? How do I leave? Can I leave through the gate? Can I jump in the river? What kind of creature am I? I'm the creature. That's all you gotta know. Can I, um... The gatehouse is down here, right? Yes, okay. What? You too? Did you slug brains actually take the service tunnel? Do you have any idea how dangerous that was? Well, whatever. I guess you can come and go through the escape from now on, because my job is meaningless, apparently. Just go. Alright, thank you. Taking a big sip. Okay. I've taken sips. My tea is fucking ice cold. They dare you know. Yup. <laughs> yup. I mean, naturally. The dare you know. There's so many words in this game. Hey, you two again. The Bin Busters. Off on another adventure. Do you know the Squirrel City of Sky Garden? Yeah, yeah, of course. Actually, I just came back from delivering some oddballs that way. Is there a festival going on or something? A band of oddballs? Do you think it was Bruce? Well, he fits the profile. I hope he's faring well. He's a squirrel among squirrels. I'm sure he's right at home. Bird got things to do, so hop in the basket when you're ready. All aboard. Okay, I have so many locations on my map that opened up as the thing. Look at him go! Alright, so this is where we were. This is Crambale. And then this is Sky Garden. Did I open up other locations, though? I did. Question mark, question mark, and question mark, question mark. I mean, obviously I'm going. Are you kidding me?
Here we are at a uh, some god's dwelling. What are we doing here? We're killing. I smell paint. I see no gods around, so I'm just gonna go quickly nab some. Paint? It's for a side quest. Sir Verm? I thought we were on an important mission. We need to find the cow. Should we really be doing side quests? Look, this job is nothing. It'll only take a minute. If you say so, but I won't help you if you get into mischief. It's a rock. This is definitely a rock. You are certain this is a rock. There are turtles and this one has a hat on. He has a hat on. So, like, really think about it. This is it, godly paint. And a whole pot small enough to carry, that's convenient. I'm so excited for these guys that I'm about to see. You have no idea the excitement that I'm feeling in my heart right now. Stop right there, thief! You dare to steal from our god! Ooh, the nerve! Ooh, the utter cheek! I'm only taking a little, they've got loads. But that's wrong! Stealing is wrong! My mummy and daddy told me so! I'm not arguing morality with a talking rock. Get out of my way. No, put the paint back, or I'll bite you! Could you help me out, Siobhan? Ooh, no, Sir Verm. You dug yourself into this hole, you can dig yourself out of it. Ugh, fine. I don't want to fight her! Look at her! No! Look at her little face! I'm not a rock! Nibble. No! This is gonna take a while. So... Oh no! Daddy! <laughs> oh, Herman. Herman! What's all this fuss about? You're her father? Look, this is just a misunderstanding. Daddy, he stole precious paint from the gods and then beat me up. Oh, did he now? <laughs> Another wannabe hero, is it? You put on a cape and think that gives you the right to pilfer things from houses and beat up little kids. No, that's not. I mean, she started it, but... Siobhan, you're good with words. Help me out here. I wouldn't dream of interfering, Sir Verm. This is your side quest. You've got this. I believe in you. Oh my god. Make a magician welcome back. Oh, he biked twice. I understand. Your daughter's a menace, you know that, right? Little Maribel's an angel. I agree. No! This is the only weapon we need, Mega Magician. The God weapon. No! He bite! He bite twice! No! 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 Whoa! Careful where you swing that thing, you could take someone's eye out! Do I really need to come over there? Uh-oh. You've done it now, lad. Yeah, mummy's gonna kick your butt! Oh, she's big. I heard everything. 
Stealing from our gods, brawling and yelling in this house? You're being a bad influence on little Maribel. Yeah, bad influence. Javon, this one looks tough. I could really appreciate some help with this. Huh. It says here that mushrooms are more closely related to us animals than they are to plants. Isn't that peculiar? Yeah, that's bonkers, all right. The things you learned from books. I gave him a fucking New Jersey accent again. I know you can hear me, Siobhan. Okay, fine. Let's get this over with. She has glasses. How can rocks talk anyway? How can such a small mouse carry so much angst? Life has many mysteries. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna peanut. Or put- or bandage. I'll cheat. Once more, and then I'll rage. And then I'll hit. If I survive. Which- it's looking pretty bad. Okay, there we go. It's fine. <laughs> Whoa, you are quite something. Maybe it's time for us to get serious. Yeah! Maybe, but then again. This mouse has only taken a very small pot of paint. Perhaps it was wrong of us to intervene. You may pass, mouse. But stealing is wrong, mummy! Maybe so little, Maribel, but sharing is right. Our god has so much, and this mouse takes so little. Who are we to deny him? So I'm free to go? Of course. <laughs> All done. Fuck yeah, I leveled up. Grand, let's go. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? This is so powerful. I want this so much, but like, oh my god, it's so far away. All aboard, here we go. Alright, and then I got one more thing to do. Maribel's den! Cute! Oh my god, it's cute. This is... Yeah, nah, I ain't got a clue. Where are we? I don't think this place is a name. I'm just following directions on an old map. Oh, a treasure hunt! Yeah, I like it. Okay. Wow, it's very quiet and frightening. I can go in the train? Are you sure? What's over here, though? There's gonna be rats in the subway, aren't there? Subway rats. This feels like one of the worst ideas. Oh my god, I have so much movement. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't like this. What? What? What am I doing? I have to find the treasure. But where? I... Oh, is there a One Piece gag on the map?
where am I going? And where am I going? Oh, oh. So you're a dirty thief who's taken my treasure, huh? Well, go on, take it from one plunderer to another. You found a who helm. Oh, minus defense, plus 10 attack. Verm kill. Verm kill. We're entering kill mode. You and me, together? What did you find? A cool hat. Oh, careful, Sir Verm. An old relic of that might carry all kinds of curses. Oh, please. I'm cursed out. One more couldn't hurt. If you say so. All aboard! Alright. I love this guy. Okay. The risk, but then think about... It's in a big tree. Oh, it's them. This is Sky Garden. This is my home. What's wrong? Sky Garden's supposed to be a rainbow. A tree overflown with flowers of every hue and shade all year round. This doesn't look like anything like the stories my dad told me. Yeah, I never heard that flower stuff before. Sky Garden's a fortress, a military stronghold. No rainbows here. I see. You don't need to get down. Let's run over details of, you know, plan S. Right, the plan. Okay, so we're booked for performance with Squirrel Duke at noon. Bruce, you and I will walk in and play. Play their socks off. Exactly. Then while Duke's court is distracted, I'll scale the outer wall, climb through an upper floor window, find the treasure room, break open some chests, and steal the pebble of Squeen. You know, it seems like I've got the harder task here. Can you manage it, Pocket? Are you kidding? I could do it blindfolded. Bruce and I will leave before Duke notices anything is missing. And we'll all be in the clear, pebble and paw. Hee <laughs> hee, this will be a riot. Uh, one more thing, Bruce. Really sorry to say this, Lapa, but... You should talk. Talk? Your tail. Oh. Trans allegory. <laughs> The hamster's got a point. It's a dead giveaway to your, uh, true colors. Ah, I see. I suppose it is, ain't it? But my dad's always told me to be proud of my tail. You have a beautiful tail, Lapa. But if gray squirrels sniff, out you out, sniff you out as a red, my heads will roll. Yeah, sorry, Lapa. Hey, bother, I'll hide it, just for today, to survive. We're all set, then. I'll see you both out here in a little while. And I'll go to my black, uh... Meet you in the throne room. I can do this. Is a creator trans? Godspeed. That wasn't really the right word to use there. <laughs> Good luck. Like, no. Josh? It's a solid gold statue of Duke Josh. It exudes an unprecedented level of arrogance. Duke Josh Glimmers, save your game. Your game's been saved. Guys, okay, question. When are we stopping the stream today? Because, like, it's almost time. But then... I don't want it to be. So that's an issue that I'm having. Because this feels like a good stopping point. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, we can pick it up next week and we will. And that's a threat. I'm absolutely thriving. I'm loving it so much. The wait was well worth it. Fantastic. I have felt so much joy today. And, and thank you all for coming and hanging out with me and bullying me. I will forget 
all of the voices I was doing by Monday and everybody will sound different and we're gonna have to accept that and live with it. I've already forgotten how to do the pigeon's voice. It's like this weird thing where like it happened to me and now it's lost to me unless I hear it myself. Um, well, thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun, I had fun. And um, Daniel, the game is $20. It's on sale right now for like 10% off. So it's like a little under 20. It's on Steam and also Itch.io. You can get a deluxe edition on Itch.io with like the soundtrack and everything, as far as I know. So if you go on the guy's Twitter, if you just look up this on Twitter, you can find the dev and they link everything. And anyway, I love you guys very much. Thank you for coming. I will see you on Monday. Goodbye.